All right, today is Thursday evening. We're getting off of work. Wednesday evening, not bad. <laughs> it's Wednesday evening, not Thursday evening. Getting off of work. So I can find a good will. And besides, I'm off. I took off a few days, a couple days. So let's go to Goodwill and see what you have for me. And see if we got the jewelry jars. Ooh. No, no, no. No. Hi, just come and see if you. Did you do any? I'm doing the jewelry case right now. So. Okay. All right, well, guess what? There ain't no jewelry jars out. But guess what? I can come here and see if they have any purses for me. She says she's doing the jewelry now. Uh, jewelry cases. So, in other words, nothing here. Nothing else. There's no. See you Saturday. Hmm. All right, I just checked with her to see if she had any jewelry jars. As you can tell, she said she didn't have any jewelry jars, and it looked like she was trying to put that jewelry together. And um, I seen a lot of jewelry back there too. So um, she said she don't. She gonna have it ready for if not tomorrow. She gonna have me some special ones for tomorrow for me to come by and get tomorrow evening. So I'll pass by there tomorrow evening sometime around this time. I guess around. I guess I leave home around 5, 30, 6 o'clock to pass by over there and kind of see what they have anything out there for me or out there, period. So, uh, I, I'm i still in Goodwill. Um, so, I usually just pass by the clothes. I usually don't check out the clothes. Um, to me, because Goodwill prices to me is, is very expensive. Um, they're up there, really up there. Uh, not as high as some of the things at the Salvation Army downtown Dallas, but we're not going to talk about that. But anyway, uh, I just check out some of the things. Just, just, just see the prices. Um, just looking. I don't, I don't want to infringe. I just want to see how they're pricing their items, you know. Some things over there at Goodwill is a reasonable price. Some things are very reasonable. Some things that should be expensive. Are oh, oh, God. Look, 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 y'all. Look, look, look. Look how bare. It's bare. But I did notice that they was cleaning up in there. So maybe that's why the shelves are like they are. Because it was cleaning up. They had really organized everything. Or trying to organize everything. So and she told me corporate is coming tomorrow. You know. So of course, yeah, they clean it up. So, But they, if corporate coming tomorrow, they need to do a little bit better than what they're doing. Because corporate want to see... <laughs> Corporate want to see some full shelves, you know. So she said they um they're getting ready for corporate for tomorrow. So I'm pretty sure that you know they 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 was organizing, you know, they put everything where it's supposed to go. But uh again, corporate want to see things on the shelves, and I, I'm not seeing that over there at all. So um, but they are arranging things. I, I did look at that little lady, but one of her arms was just dangling. It was broke, and they had glued it up. But so I I didn't get it, but. Yeah, the shelves looking kind of bare. So hopefully while they're cleaning it up and getting ready for corporate on tomorrow, <laughs> they are, uh, they will be restocking. So I'm not quite sure. I'm going to go somewhere tomorrow. I'm not quite sure what time I'm going to go there. Uh, but I do know I'm going to go to Goodwill later on that evening. I guess around, I'm going to get there around, I guess tomorrow evening around 5 maybe, just to see if they have anything. Uh, I know they're going to put a lot of stuff out because, again, corporate is coming tomorrow. So, um uh, I'm just walking around, just looking at it, looking at see if it got anything new, you know, um, or different. And I was able to find a, a, a couple of things. So, but yeah, just, it's just me doing my thing. Just walking around, um, trying to see what I can find. And they start playing it. Music was so loud, you guys. They, they playing old school. I'm not sure what radio station that is or, or Wi-Fi radio or whatever the world but it was playing some real old I mean they went back in the 70s you guys and it's so doggone loud but that's goodwill radio you know so and I can't control that so I'm just walking around just looking at some of the items that they have okay so I'm really looking at some of the um, items that they having they have over there um, look at the glassware deal look at the, some of the dishes look at some of the uh, Coffee pot, electronics, uh, coffee pot, houseware stuff. Didn't see anything that caught my attention, you know. Uh, again, that they the shelves are very, very bare, you know. Um, so maybe they're going to stock up. Or I'm not sure when they're going to do that. Uh, probably in the morning, I don't know. But they really need to uh, get themselves together for corporate <laughs> in the morning. And, yeah. So um, just walking. Just looking at the price of the fan. Look at that fan. 
How much a fan was? Ten, y'all, ten dollars and one cents for a small little portable fan. Ten dollars and one cent. Come on, Goodwill. Goodwill, Goodwill. The clock is four ninety four. Smaller. It was a smaller clock, you know. And then the large clock was four ninety four. But that fan just blew me blew me away, you know, because I'm thinking that you probably can add about three or four more dollars and buy buy a fan, a small fan like that, brand new. So um, somebody's not pricing right, you know. Um, but that's like all the goodwill. Everybody's just trying to uh, uh, go up on prices, price gouging, gouging, whatever the word you call it. And they just going up on prices and not really looking at it. They just saying, oh, it need to go up three, four dollars more. But are they out looking at the prices? Come on, people. Now, I did see that. I did see that. That is that's um, I think like a little house for Christmas or whatever. Yeah, I did see that. And I did price check that. She let me have that for a dollar one. Or he did because he didn't have a price on there. And now that right there goes for, I want to say about at least $15 on eBay. You know, uh, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to keep it or sell it. I need to sell it. I got so much stuff. But, uh, yeah, they went through a lot of these stuffed animals. And it's probably, these stuffed animals probably going to be uh, uh, next door <laughs> in uh, uh, Goodwill Bins. I guarantee you that. Yeah. I, I, my, son, my grandson has, has one. I would have got it, but he already have one. So, And then again, I told you before, I got to keep all this stuff at my house. And I told myself, you got enough stuff. Because I think I have a warehouse in here trying to uh, uh, get myself ready to be selling on eBay and stuff. So, but anyway, I'm just looking at stuff, animals, uh, just trying to see. Oh, I was, I was checking out that Radio Shack car. Wasn't worth it, though. It wasn't worth it. Because they sell it with $10, and that was like $3. And the ones that sell it for $10 had the remote control to it. So, I'm like, I don't care. That was Radio Shack. I don't care. It's vintage. Uh, it doesn't come with nothing but the car, you know. So, it's to me, that's not worth it, you know. So, I'm just still looking at some of the toys. Look, y'all, look at that price. Look at that price. That's supposed to be Snow White or somebody. Snow White. $39.93. You, come on. Come on. Goodwill. 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 Then you had two of them for $39.93. I don't know who in the world would pay that much for, mm-mm. Goodwill. Goodwill. I, I'm so tired of telling y'all y'all get that stuff for free. I, I don't know how much I can tell you. Why are you trying to charge thirty nine ninety three? Yeah, you know. Mm mm. I'm gonna say it one more time. Can somebody please explain to me who is the middleman that's going up on the prices that's giving Goodwill all these items? Who's the middleman? Because I can see the middleman, the middleman going up on their prices. So you know, if a middleman goes up on his prices, then you guys, you know, we all got to raise our prices up. But there's no middleman with Goodwill. There's no middleman with thrift stores. People donate that stuff. People that donate the stuff are the middleman. And they're not asking for no donation. They're not asking, giving you this stuff and say, well, I'm, I'm going to need me a whole lot of money for this stuff, items. they donating this. They're giving this items for free. So how on this earth can y'all have these prices so outrageous? You know, and... Goodwill is, you guys, Goodwill making money left and right. I'm here to tell you. I have never seen Goodwill like this. I mean, you got the Goodwill auction. That's one. You got Goodwill fines, which that's one of my favorite. <laughs> then you got the, the Goodwill blue box. If you ever heard of blue box, that dog on Goodwill blue box. Plus, if you go to eBay, there's a lot of Goodwill uh, stores. They sell on eBay. Goodwill, y'all gonna have to start now. I'm glad you give out to community. I'm glad you help the community. But you know what? These places like this, Goodwill, uh, uh, all these thrift stores, supposed to be helping out the community. It's supposed to be uh, giving us better prices. That's why we go to them. That's why we go to these places because we're looking for a better price than what the store is having it. But when you have prices like this, thirty nine 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 for a doll. Come on now, that's store prices. That's brand new prices. Yeah, it may not have been open, but you get it for free. That's why it's still sitting there. That's why it's still sitting there, you guys. Yeah, that's why it's still sitting right there. But anyway, back to what I was saying. So right now I'm looking at the guy that's school supply. I mean, you guys, they have it organized. I mean, somebody's on top of it. it. It must be real. It must be big corporate coming, not just corporate. I mean, corporate, the big guys, big, big, big people coming, you know. Because they are, I mean, they, they got everything organized. They threw, they must have took, took all that stuff. They didn't throw away. That's, that's right there. That's, that went right there to, behind them to the Goodwill Bin. 
bins. <laughs> so yeah, a lot of that stuff they didn't get. That's that's what went to Goodwill bins. They bring that stuff to Goodwill bins. Also, too, uh, well, we talk about that another time. But anyway, so yeah, I'm just looking at her stuff. And I, I, what I did see, I'm just checking out some of the prices, saying, okay, that's store prices. Look at them crayons, you know. Well, maybe not the crayons, because that, that's a real deal. That's look at the name brand, too. Yeah. But anyway, I did see some thing, things that caught my attention. The magnifying glasses. You know, magnifying because I'm looking at jewelry, you know. Sometimes I need as many as I can find you guys. Because sometimes, you know, uh, some magnifying glasses is better than others. So I, I was looking at it. At first I put it down. Then I'm like, mm, should I get it? And I really started thinking about it. I'm like, okay. You know, I know how much it costs, especially a big one. And one of my bought, was, it says USB, you know, so I could charge it. Don't have to worry about batteries. So, yeah, I think I bought, I bought them all. I think it was either four or five, but I bought every last one of them. For four ninety four. I didn't think that was a bad deal at all. I thought that was a, a good deal, you know, because I think I paid like $7 for a magnifying glass, glass on eBay, you know. Uh, would I keep them out? Probably so I will, you know, because I'm always looking at jewelry and I need to look at jewelry up close. Yep, I even got two clip-ons. Yeah, I got it all, boo. <laughs> got them all. I got them all because I know, um, if, I, I think I'm going to get, like I said, at the end, I'm going to get more into jewelry. Jewelry going to be the, the main thing that I'll be selling. Uh, jewelry, I would dibble and dabble with some shoes and, with, and purses. Um, but I think I want to focus on just jewelry and, yeah, just jewelry. So eventually, uh, once I get rid of all this stuff, I, I am no longer going to be holding anything else but jewelry. Jewelry, purses, and some shoes. Other than that, I'm not going to be keeping no toy unless it's something I know that's worth money. All right, so right there, I'm just showing you that I, I got all the magnifying glasses. I got that little house, the little um, the little village, whatever you want to call it. And I think that's worth about, like I said, about $10 or $15, maybe $20 on eBay. So I got all the magnifying glasses because they looked like it was brand new. It was I got two clip-ons. Um, and I think, yep, I got that one too. I think it was a total of four of them. I did get because to me that that's worth it. That was worth it. I I don't know too much about that name brand, but I know anything we're dealing with a magnifying glass. I'm going to pay between uh six to ten dollars if you and that's depending on the size. I did get that in my basket, but I end up eventually put it took put it out. I got it out my basket because I didn't feel like I'm like where you gonna put that at even though it's small. I just didn't feel like being bothered with it. So, but anyway, um again, I was just really waiting to see if she's gonna put any jury out. So, you know, so that's why I was kind of just. Looking around, kind of just taking my time because, you know, if she putting any jury out, then I know I want to be first to get it.
right, now I am about to go and check out. I just left at that store. So I figure um, let's go to Texas Thrift and see what they have in there. So that's where I'm on my way to. It's the Texas Thrift. Um, this is the second one I went to. And I just want to see what they have inside the store today. Anything I think that I want or can't live without, whatever. But I'm looking at the sign. Blue and yellow. 50% off blue. 30% off yellow. I have to keep always saying it to myself because I'm going to forget. Because, you know, when you look at so many colors, I see colors in, in all the stores. All the stores have different colors. And sometimes I forget, you know. I'm only human. So I always go to the um the purses. I mean, the wallets first to see what they have. And I realize, oh, let me just get a basket just in case. Just in case I get anything, you know. And I think I spent about $26, $27 uh, in Goodwill, which was not bad, you guys. Uh. Consider that, you know, I could drop some hundred dollar bills in a minute, you know. So I'm just looking at the wallets and seeing if there's any wallet that uh, that I do like. Um, the only wallets I usually have over there is probably Vera Bradley. And I'm looking for blue and yellow, blue and yellow, blue and yellow, you know, blue first, then blue 50%, yellow 30%, you know. So, okay, we can do that, you know. And I know I said, I figured I, figure if I would go to the other thrift store, which is uh, Texas Thrift. I think that's what's the name of it. Uh, thrift Giant, Thrift Giant. Thrift Giant, that's the last one. I said that would probably be the last one because I know it's going to be packing there because they have 50% off special. And that store is stay packed. So, there I go looking through the wallets. And I think I eventually found me a Revere Brad. I showed it. And it was blue, you guys. I think that one was blue because I eventually found two. So, I'm very proud. I'm picking it up showing you, hey, I got me a Revere Brad. And it's, it's yellow, so it's 30% off. I think it was like $4.99 or $5.99. So, I'll start subtracting, you know, okay. Six dollars times three is eighteen. It's a dollar eighty off, you know. So I'm like, okay, that's not that bad. That's almost two dollars. So we're gonna, we're gonna take that. We're gonna take that and run with it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm still looking. Um, okay, okay, yeah, y'all got pretty nice bags. Yeah, y'all organized. Y'all stuff on hangers. I like that. I like that hanging stuff. Mm hmm I really do. I, I I did see some that wasn't on sale, so I I just bypassed that. I'm like, nah, come on, sale price. Come on, sale price. Work with me. Work with me. You know. So yeah. So that's what I was doing, just kind of glancing, looking around. Nope, that's not Vera. But I swear, y'all stop making things that look like Vera Bradley, you know? So uh, I stayed there for a while, just kind of looking. It really wasn't that pack in that store. Uh, they had they had people, um, but I wouldn't quite say it was packed. At that time, I think it was like 7 o'clock, so I'm still watching the time because I know... Um, I know it was like 6.40 because I see more of my time in Goodwill just waiting on that jury or whatever. But um, I knew uh, if I would go to Texas Thrift, Texas Giant, I mean, I knew they closed uh, at 8. Texas Giant is Texas. I always forget the doggone store's name because you got Texas Thrift, you got Texas, uh, uh, Texas Giant or something. Some. I'll figure it out, you guys, and I'll let you know. It's on my receipt. <laughs> Thrift Giant, Thrift Giant. Yeah, that's, that's the last one I went to. But anyway, Thrift Giant. So I'm looking at the jewelry. And it has some jewelry jars, you guys. Like eighteen ninety nine for some stuff. One of them looked like Mardi Gras beads. Like the one to the right. I'm like, y'all crazy. Who made those jewelry jars? Are y'all just putting anything in there and say, this is a jewelry jar. This is a jewelry jar. No, it's not. That's a junk. That's a junk jar. That that you should be shamed of putting that that mess in there. That was ridiculous to put anything in there and call it a jewelry jar. That was a pile of mess, you know. Yeah, don't you don't put no uh Mardi Gras beads in there and call that jewelry. <laughs> Seriously? So I just go around, just kind of look, and I'm like, okay, all right, yeah, it's all good. But you know what? Look at that wall of purses, you guys. They have a lot of book bags, too. So I start looking at book bags. I'm like, okay, well, you know, I don't have no children that's in, in school. My kids are grown, you know. So I'm looking at, well, but I do like different book bags because it might be a coach in there. It may be a guest. It may be a Gucci. Well, I thought it would be Gucci, but, you know, anyway. <laughs> it may be a real Bradley. So I just look, you know, and I'm like, look at that wall. That's a wall of bags, purses, whatever. So I just kind of go through it, trying to see, uh, okay, what is this? I like that. I carried that around with me for a while. I eventually put it back. But that was so cute. I still have uh, uh see the price of that. You know what? Like I said, a purse don't have to be a name brand in order for me to like it. It can just be a different bag, a cute bag, something that I don't have, something that's totally different that you wouldn't catch nobody with. And it was blue, so it was half price. But I eventually didn't get it uh, because I was like, okay, you have a whole lot of purses right now sitting on your recliner in your bedroom. What you going to do with all that? Because I don't have no more room on my purse rack to put them in, in, you guys. So, okay, yeah. 
So I, that's why I didn't get it. I'm like, okay, it's, you, it's nothing you can do with that. So I'm like, okay, put that up. You don't need it. Put it up. You don't need it. So, but I, I did, I did glance the purses. So I, I just went to see what all they had. I did find that real bratty bag. It was, it was a purse, and you um, it's like a made out like a book bag. You put it on your shoulders. That was five ninety nine. It wasn't on sale, but you guys, that's something I don't have. Okay, that's why I got it. that's why I got it because I made it like to throw it on my shoulders. It's kind of like a sling bag in a sense, but you throw it on the back of your shoulders, uh, uh, and you go with it. You know, um, yeah, I sure did. It was no no doubt in my mind. I was gonna keep that bag. Yes, I was. You know, so I, I that's what I looked at. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't well on sale. Nope, it wasn't on sale. So uh, I got the two wallets in my purse. I mean, two wallets in my basket. And I had that um, that um, that book bag like purse. So that's what I got in my basket. All right, so now I'm back looking at some of these purses here. Um, still in it, still in um, Texas Giant, Texas Thrift, Texas Thrift. I keep thinking, forgetting the name, Texas Thrift. And I'm just looking around, and finally at the end, I was trying to decide whether I was gonna get that purse or not. Yep, and I decided I was gonna get it. <laughs> so I looked at that one. Yep, that was yellow. Yellow's thirty percent off. Blue is fifty. So I, 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 it was okay, but it wasn't like in good, good, good condition. I did kind of like it. How much was five nine six nine nine five nine nine? Okay, that would have been about four dollars. Hmm. Did I know that was yellow tag? Oh, I was trying to decide. I'm like, okay, you can't get both. That's what was the thing. Which one do you want? You know. So I end up. Okay, get something you don't really have. Okay, I don't have that one. So that's what. That's what happened. So um, you know, I'm always impressed when I go into um Texas Thrift because they're so organized, you guys. I Every time I go in this store, I'll be like, wow, how can anybody, any store be so organized like this? But this store is, I mean, I, I just like to look and just see, you know, I, I'm waiting to see something out of order. So I can say, aha, that's not in the right place. Aha, that's not in the right place. Aha, that's dirty. That's nasty. But I, you know, I'm not saying the store is like super, super clean because it's not, but they're just so organized you know they're so organized you don't see a whole lot of trash on the floor i can say that you know uh uh everything you might see something out of place but most of the time everything's just sitting in place you know uh everything is right where it's supposed to be at you know uh the ties are all hung up on hang that's just tripped me out to see stuff like that you know i was like that makes me want to stay in that store longer because they're just so organized and they stay always their shelves are always stocked they're they're, they're not their stock is always there. They they don't have empty spots, any empty spaces nowhere. Their store is just always filled. It's always full. You know. They always have stuff on their shelves. And you know, if somebody like somebody come along and just like soon somebody takes something, they come along and place it. They come along and put it back. You know, that's that's what I see in that store. You know, so um, I already got my purses, so basically I'm ready to go. But I just I still want to pass by because you know what? I'm kind of looking. I need another uh, uh, necklace holder or a uh, uh, bracelet holder. So when I'm doing my uh, jewelry or if I'm selling jewelry or whatever, I don't want to display them in a better way, you know? Yeah, I did that. Then I did the price. Twelve ninety nine. It's, it's yellow. It's thirty percent off. <laughs> So, you know, and yeah, I just like to see, I like to come here because I like organization, you know. I like organization. I like stuff that's organized. And, you know, these people, they got it together. I'm not going to lie. These people are organized. I say all the time, other thrift stores need to come over here and just come learn from these people here and come learn and see how well they organize, how well they organize the stuff. And, you know, this is not the only thrift store they have with this name. Uh, but this is the only one that I know of. They have another one in Arlington. I'm going to have to go check it out. 
I think that's the one I really don't care for. <laughs> but I'm going to go check it out to see if they're, if they're organized like this, you know. Uh, but I kind of think they are. I think they do have used hangers for everything. Um, yeah, they, I think they do. So I'm looking at their toy. I did see one toy that was out of order. Somebody had put it there. Somebody put it on the floor. I guess the child was playing with it. So I'm like, okay, that's not, shouldn't be here, <laughs> you know. So, but other than that, they got it going on. So I'm just, I, I just go glance, look at their toys, look at the wall stuff, see what they have on the wall. Didn't see anything, but then again, renew, you know, look what time it is. It right now, I think it should be around 7 o'clock, I guess, I guess the time, you know, um, because I got in there around 6.40. Um, so I'm just, if they did have something that was yellow or blue or whatever, they probably all gone. Well, the good stuff is they're going to have some things that's not really worth much, you know. So, but they're going to, and I did look at that. I did get me some body spray and baby bath, uh, baby bath, some bath and body works. I eventually put it back because I'm like, okay, your cabinet is full of bath and body works stuff, you know. Plus, they didn't have yellow tags or blue tags. And I, I, I'm trying to stick with you guys. Stick with the colors that's on sale. Stop buying things that's not on sale. If it's not blue or yellow, I don't really need to have it in my basket. And that's what I had to I had to think about, you know, I did want it because some, some things was from uh, Victoria's Secret. It smelled real good. But, you know, you know, I was like, okay, you have enough of that stuff. And besides, you're not sticking with, you say you want to stick with just the colors that's on sale. Okay, keep your word and just stick with just that and nothing else. So I had to remind myself, you're not sticking to your word. You say you want to stick with the colors. So I put it in my basket, and but I eventually took it out my basket. So right now I'm just trying to decide if I want it or not. And I did put all this stuff in my basket that I didn't need. So I, I put it right on back out. You know, I spent about $16 or $17 out that store. And I was happy. I was content. You know, uh, I had a few things. Um, I smile because I, I always smile when it's something I like. <laughs> and then I was I was ready to go. You know, I, I left out of there. You know, I was, I was through for that day. So, yeah. So that's what I did. And just looking at something. So um, I said twin field. So I just kind of glanced around, just looked around and trying to see if there was anything else. And I didn't see anything, you know. Um, All right, so I eventually left out of there, and I was going to my last one. Let's do all three, which is Texas Thrift. Hold on. Thrift Giant. God, I always get confused. This is Thrift Giant. Um, yeah, it's known for its name. Thrift Giant. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty big one. Uh, yeah, I was so packed. I had a park on the side, way over there, you know. You kind of look like a theater when you walk in. You see that? Don't it? Don't it? But anyway, they had people outside. They selling some uh, potato chip with hot sauce and some Coke, whatever. But the entire store, you guys, 50% off. It got to be something in there I want. I was going to the person and I said, nah, let's go see if they got any jury jars. Let's just, let's go see, you know, cause I had my first jury jar here. First ever. So I, I walk in there and I'm like, wait, what, 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 what's that? Wait, wait, he in my way. And he looking at it. Why is he looking at it? That look like a jury jar. That is. Oh, shit. I got to get somebody's attention because I want it. I want to see what it is. I don't care what it is. I want it. Let's see how much it is. So I'm just trying to get anybody's attention. Like, does somebody see? Am I invisible? Hello? Hello? So anyway, I, I think I finally got somebody's attention. Mm-hmm. I sure did. And she said, oh, it's $24.97. But uh, it's have off. I said, have off? You got another one? <laughs> you know, twenty four ninety seven, twenty four ninety seven. Do you have another one? She just started laughing. She's like, "No, this is all I got." I said, "I want it. I want." It. She said, "Well, I will leave right here to you where you check." I said, "Can you check me out?" She's like, "No, I can't check you out." I said, "Well, I want it." You see how I'm eyeing it down? Like anybody touch it? Don't. I mean, you better not touch. It's mine. It's mine. It belongs to me. I haven't paid for it yet, but it's mine. I'm already claiming it. Boo boo, don't even worry about it. It's mine, you know. I'm going to get that. Come on, line, move up. Okay, ma'am. They call you. Go ahead. Come on now. I got to get this jury thing because I um I got it's like my fix. I got to get my fix now. I got to get it. I got to get it. Go ahead, ma'am. I'm next. Yes, jury jar, please. At the jury container, it's mine. Can you can you ring me up? Can you ring me up? Can you ring me up? 
<laughs> That's basically how I was, you guys, you know. So I'm just in there waiting patient, like, come on, come on. All right, dog, three more people. Let's just look at the jury. Let's just let's just keep your mind uh, uh, occupied on something else. But keep your eyes looking at your stuff, though. Keep looking over there. Make sure nobody touch it. Make sure nobody get it because you already claim it. You're going to get that, and you're going to get it for half price. So I'm just thinking about, like, oh, it's $24. It's been changed. That means it'd be $12 and such and such cents. Oh, my God. It's got to be my lucky day. <laughs> you know? So I'm just waiting comp- patiently. Come on, come on. Hurry up, people. Hurry up. Get up. Come on. Come on. You know, I, I keep looking at it I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then I touch it. That's mine. Let me look at this jury. But I'm going to keep my eye on that. I'm going to keep my eye on that. Nope, nope, nope. I'm going to keep my eyes on that. Yep, I'm looking at everybody in this store because nobody better not touch that jury container because it is mine. The lady said it belongs to me. Okay, I'm going to pay for it, and then I'm going to be good, okay? I'm going to get my fix on after I get this jury container. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just sitting there. I'm just waiting. All right, so um, I am just looking at the jury, just trying to, I guess, trying to make time go by fast while I'm still waiting to go up there to um, to pay for my um, my jury um, container, you know? Um, I just walked in the store, and I already got a big old deal. So, you know, I'm just about to just shop for glory. <laughs> So I'm like, just, okay, just look at the jury. Focus, focus. You have to focus. You know that's a good deal. You have to focus. You're excited. Yes, I am. I get the butterflies, you guys, when I get so excited. When I know I got a good deal, I it's like, I'm, I'm so happy. You know, I'm so happy. I mean, who don't get happy when they find a deal, you know? I, I, I tell you one thing, too. Uh, doing these jury containers is very, very uh, uh, therapeutic. Uh, it gives me a sense of relaxation. It keeps my mind occupied. So I'm focusing on, on something. Cause you know, a lot of time people focus on their problems. They focus on how you're going to pay a bill, focus on this, focus on that. And t- uh, focus on why this don't happen to you or why you still waiting on this. So when you find something like this, that you, you're able to focus on, cause you can't focus on this, focus on finding a jury, focus on trying to get the matches to a jury and then focus on some problems, you know, and problems going to always be there the next day, you know? So you know, you try to focus on good things. You know, you you have your mind and your thoughts on good things. You know, so if I'm focused on jury, I'm focused on trying to find a jury or try to detangle something. I'm not worrying about uh, focusing on, oh, how I'm going to pay this bill or, or how I'm going to do this or how I'm going to do that, which, thank God, I don't have to worry about things like that. But uh, I do think about other things like how my family doing back home, you know, uh, I hope they doing this or, you know, just, you just think you, cause you're human. So your mind always go places. So, and it, this keeps your mind, this keep your mind focused on better things, better thoughts. And it helps you relax. It helps ease the stress. It helps your mind just to concentrate on one thing and not worry about what's going on that you can't really control. So when, you, when you're doing these jury jars, it's so relaxing. It's like, um, I guess for people that smoke cigarettes or whatever they do to, um, to get a relaxation on, um, just doing these, it's just, it just, I feel so relaxed at doing this until I can't worry about what's going on um, that I have no control over. Because you really don't have no control over something that's going on, you know, uh, in your life or in going around you. So my mind is so busy focusing on that. That's what I focus on. And I just feel so relaxed doing it. Um, it's not a part about me trying to resell it to, uh, to make money. It's the more part about being relaxed while doing it. Going through and having that aha moment saying, wow, look what I found. Oh, uh, wow, that's, that's real gold. Oh, uh, wow, that's real, that's 925 sterling. You know, so that's what I like to see. Or oh, trying to find a match to the earring. Like, wow, that's a beautiful earring. I got it. Look what that is. So that's what I like doing. That's why I like doing it. Um, I have a jury Josh right now. Just sit up in a corner, you know, <laughs> just sitting on the floor. Uh, I might have, I want to say maybe the big ones. I have a total of, oh, about seven big ones, <laughs> seven big containers. Um, yeah, and I have about maybe three small ones now. Um, that's just some jury stuff that I've been having, and I gotta go through that. The jury stuff that I've been having that I really don't have time to do because I'm busy working or I'm starting to 
Uh, I'm trying to. All right, so after I walk around that store a little bit, uh, that bag was already heavy. So I said, okay, let's just look at the jewelry one more time. Just make sure you ain't missed nothing. You ain't passed nothing up. They don't have a second jewelry jar container in there that you could grab and snatch that sucker and, and you know, and get that one in half too. But they didn't. But I still kind of looked. Um, again, it was it was too much for me to try to hold that big bag. The bag was about uh, between 8 and 10 pounds of jewelry. And then um, trying to shop and then hold my camera, to, my phone at the same time. That was not going to work for me. So I was like, okay, I think you've done enough damage. You spent $12, $13 in this store, uh, Thrift Giant. Uh, I spent about $17 in uh, Texas Thrift. And then I spent $27 in uh, Goodwill. I think that's enough. I think you may want to just go ahead and get ready to go. You know, uh, it's time to go. You, you, you did good. I'm proud of you. You did good. <laughs> you know, um, what I spent... Uh, uh, maybe sixty dollars. So I'm I, right now. That's it. I got to go. I'm calling it a day. I didn't done what I needed to do. I got my jewelry jar. I came and I conquered. Now I'm going to conquer out of there and go ahead and run by uh, churches and give me a couple pieces of chicken. <laughs> so yeah, that's what my plans were. So now I'm just waiting on this guy to get out of my way so I can go ahead and go. Go into my car. Um, I'm feeling great. Um, I was able to. Go to this uh, Texas thrift thrift giant. I keep going, thrift giant and score a uh, container of jewelry. Yeah, I, I'm doing good. I went to all three thrift stores. Got to work around five fifteen. Um, right now it's only like uh, maybe seven thirty. So let's just say we did this uh, for two hours, and I scored some things that I could uh, either keep. You know what I say? Keep, give away, or uh, resell. For a profit, you know. So now I'm walking back to my car, um, feeling real good. I'm gonna put it, put it, put that in my car, and then we're gonna call it a day. Oh, I'm showing you. I'm like, hey, check it out. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. That is like a shoe, a shoe uh, box size of jewelry, and it is packed to capacity. And I was showing you again. Yeah, it says twenty four eighty two, and that was half price. I'm surprised I didn't raise. Oh, they got my receipt. Thirteen dollars and some forty three cents. Yep, that's right. Look again. <laughs> yep, look again, boo. That's what I paid. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking all around like, yeah, I see watches. I see rings. I see uh, 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 necklaces. Um, I'm seeing a little. My, and, uh, uh, my son always say, Mama, you, you're looking for anything that's silver or, or, silver, silver or gold. You don't, want all, you don't want all plastic. That's what Josh always say. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.